Hello, and welcome to the Strength of Materials Lab. My name is Merdad Hagi, and I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of the lab to show you what equipment is available in this lab. And most of this equipment gets used both in the standard lab, which all of our students take in their junior or senior year, and also it's available for student projects, for senior projects, uh, and for research that our undergraduate students do. And in this lab, what we do is we measure the deformation and failure of materials. We look at the influence of the type of load that you apply to it, so tension or pulling versus compression or pushing versus torsion or twisting versus bending. All of those have different effects on the material. And we look at the type of materials. So for example, metals like steel or aluminum behave differently than brittle materials like glass do or composites or polymers. Um, and we also look at the effect of the environment. So for example, what would happen if you heat up your material? How does that change your material? So I'll go through and show you the major pieces of equipment. We'll start with this one, which is a workhorse in our lab. This is the Instron Universal Testing Machine. And we use this one for tension testing of steel and aluminum specimens, and also for bending testing of glass rods. And this can go in tension or compression, and it has a capacity of 10,000 pounds. So we can also use it for testing of composite materials, and our research students have done a lot of that. This other universal testing machine over here is the Shimatsu. We have two of these around the lab, and this only has a 2,000 pound capacity, which means it's used for smaller specimens and more delicate specimens, uh, such as, for example, we use it for buckling, where you take a thin rod and you push down on it, and it deforms sideways. Um, that usually takes a much less load than the tension specimens require. And we've also used the Shimatsu machines for testing of delicate fibers, like for example, biopolymers and sutures. This one only has a 2,000 pound capacity. This machine over here is our torsion machine. So this, we put specimens in there and twist them. And torsion is, for example, what your uh, vehicle's drive shaft does to transmit the power from the engine to the wheels. And that's uh, frequent uh, device that we use in mechanical engineering to transmit power. This is our torsion machine over here. In the middle of the room, we have a bunch of special purpose machines designed for just one specific uh, experiment. For example, we do four-point bending over there. We have this four-point bend apparatus set up with strain gauges to measure deformation of the surface of the material very precisely. This piece of equipment over here is for combined loading, so bending at the same time as twisting. And uh, <clears throat> over here, what we have is a rolling machine that we use to examine the effect of material processing on a material. So if you take a piece of brass and you roll it to reduce its thickness, how does that change the strength and hardness of the material? We do that process over here. In the back, we have a hardness tester over here, which is used to measure surface hardness. We have a very cool instrument over here. This is a digital optical microscope, which can actually take pictures of your specimen at different heights, assemble those into a three-dimensional object, and allow you to look at all sides of that three-dimensional object. So it's very useful for looking at irregular surfaces. Like, for example, when a piece of material fractures, that fracture surface is often not flat. And so this instrument is super useful for looking at things like that. On the side of the class over here, we have two furnaces that we use for our heat treatment experiments. So for example, we take steel and heat treat it, we take brass and we anneal it. And these uh, furnaces have been used for heat treating of other materials as well. And the last piece of equipment that I wanted to show you is this universal testing machine over here, which uh, the other testing machines that I showed you, the Instron had a 10,000 pound capacity for reasonable size specimens. The Shimatsu had a 2,000 pound capacity for delicate uh, specimens. And this piece of machinery over here has 125,000 pound capacity. It's the biggest testing machine on campus. And it allows you to test very robust specimens or actually entire structures. So uh, you, could, you could take a whole sub-assembly and put it in this and it has the load capacity to test it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the brief tour of the Strength of Materials Lab, and I hope you get a chance to come and see these in, purpose, in person.